and in this lecture we are going to discuss the theory of religious belief and this theory was given by max weber so max weber has propounded the theory of religious belief and max weber was a german sociologist according to him religion is a key determinant of entrepreneurial development he says that the entrepreneurship is a function of religious belief in other words religion shaped the entrepreneurial culture he says that entrepreneurial energies are driven by religious beliefs the important element of weber's theory are discussed number one element is spirit of capitalization in this weber has highlighted the spirit of capitalism now what is this capitalization capitalize capitalizing or capitalism is an economic system where economic freedom is given to the individual there is no government sector or we can say there is no government involvement or the interference profit is the only motive of the organization so according to weber spirit of capitalizing or capitalism is a guiding factor which guides the entrepreneur to engage in activities that can help to generate more and more profits so this was spirit of capitalization first element of theory of religious belief second element is adventure spirit or adventurous spirit max weber has distinguished between the spirit of capitalizing capitalism and adventure spirit according to him spirit of capitalism shapes the attitude towards the acquisition of money and activities involved in it the spirit of capitalism is influenced by the strict discipline which is quite incompatible with giving free regime to impulses whereas adventurous spirit is affected by the free force of impulse so both the spirit of capitalism and adventurous spirit governs the entrepreneurial culture according to max weber the spirit of capitalism can be grown only when mental attitude in the society is favorable to capitalism that is acquisition of wealth so this was the second element of theory of religious belief now the third element third element is protestant ethics Protestant ethics means an ethics that stress the virtue of hard work, thrift, and self-discipline. So it is based upon three things: hard work, thrift, and self-discipline. In other words, it means positive and favorable attitudes towards the concept of capitalism. According to Weber, the spirit of capitalism can only be grown. when the mental attitude in the society is favorable to the capitalism otherwise it cannot be grown grown so the po positive attitude can be provided by the protestant ethics irrespective of the cultural background personality type of the individual and the experience in the society so it is independent whether the person belongs to any religion whether it is hindu muslim sikh so or it can be any type of personality whether the person belong to the personality type a or b so this was the third element of theory of religious belief the fourth element or the last element of theory of religious belief is inducement to profit so according to max weber the spirit of capitalism intervene with the profit of the or intervene with the motive of the profit resulted in the greater number of business enterprise thereby leading to complete reorganization of the industrial
sector. So the principle of low price and large turnover was the mechanism of entrepreneurs to reap the profits. So this was the fourth element of theory of religious belief. Now comes the criticism. There are certain authors who have criticized this theory. Now uh, on the following grounds, number one is there is only one system of Hindu value. Second criticism was the theory does not suit Hindu value system. So according to Max Weber, Protestant ethic provides the mental attitude while Hinduism lacks such type of attitude and this act as an stumbling block in their way to the entrepreneurship. And the third criticism is the Indian community internalized those values and translated them into daily routine. So these values remain immune to or insulted against external pressure and change. So this was the criticism of the theory. Thank you students for watching.